Welcome back to Fatia. Today, I'm riding to the ancient city of Tlos. Freaky. Jandarma paper checks. Nice long downhill stretch. Zorla. What an incredible mountain range up ahead. It looks so impossible. We're gonna have to go around it. Quite the heavy clouds up there. Loss. Turn off. Just up ahead. Riding through the rain again. Okay, so I have to turn here, apparently. Hmm. Hope this doesn't take me down some crazy way. There it is. There's the Acropolis of Tlos. Ancient Lycian city. Check out those rock cut tombs. Very close to the Acropolis now. This is a massive hill. Tlos. Oh god. Oh my. How spectacular. There we go. We made it to Tlos. That was quite a ride. Look how many columns are in the wall here. Entire layer of them. So this is one of the oldest and largest cities of the Lycian civilization that occupied this area. Then became a Roman city. But the defining feature of the Lycian civilization was their rock-cut tombs. Such as these built into the side of the Acropolis. So incredible. Let's ascend to the top of this Acropolis. Very nice Teatro down there. Check that out in a bit.
Ah, oh, the very summit. so hard to get up here. Try riding your bike all the way up this. Load it up like mine. <sighs> Incredible. There's delicate archways down there. I think a lot of this is off limits. I see a fence and no entry signs surrounding a lot of this, but I'll go down there and see what I can see. Mm. Some kind of rock cut tomb. So there's this pool that runs through the middle of the stadium. Had a fountain up this end. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they used that for like water games or anything. Starting to get an idea. Maybe I can stealth camp here if I find the perfect spot. Hmm. Insane. Beautiful. There's bound to be a good stealth camping spot here. Just have to find it. Beautiful details. So this was a bath complex, because of course, what else would it be?
There's a few more rock cut tombs around the base of this Acropolis. Look at that writing. Mate, these lesions knew what was up. Look at this. This is so awesome. Maybe I can stealth camp in one of these. It's already got a nice shelf for my bed. Looks like that's the end of the line. Although, I think there's some more down that path. Those Roman ruins over there, that bath and stuff, it's way too hot. The guards could just walk over at any moment. Down here though, Seems a bit more obscure. I doubt they'll check every single tomb. That being said, the lower I go, the colder it'll get. This cold air sinks. Yeah, I don't think I'll be in that one. I kind of like this. That's not a bad one. like a dog. I wonder if this was like the dog's tomb or something. Maybe the dog was the family symbol. This one might do. I like that dog symbol out the front because I really like dogs. I might suss out how to get my stuff up here. Now, to get this up here, shouldn't be too hard. I'll go one at a time. Okay. Nice. good spot to stash my stuff so I just met a really nice German Italian guy named Luca and he invited me out to dinner at a nearby restaurant so that suits me well because I actually don't have any food except that Turkish delight and that's probably not the best dinner you know what I really like about this is this Greco-Roman style carving at the front very similar to the Amintas rock cut tombs in Fatia after all that energy expenditure of coming up here, I kind of feel like some Turkish delight anyway. These pomegranate logs are my favorite. Mm. Taste of Istanbul. Just replace that with Fatia. I've got these chocolate pillows. Knafa pillow. And yes, I know it's ironic for me to be talking about good vibes for camping in a tomb, so. I'm gonna set up my bed and stuff now while it's still light. I'm 
So I've just used my hammock under quilt as a bit of padding between the sharp rocky shelf and my air mat. Make sure it doesn't pop in the night. How cool is that? I wonder how long it's been since somebody's laid on this. What an incredible spot. Much stealthier than those Roman baths or anywhere back around there. Got another dog down here. Yeah, no stone shelves over on this side. At least not any that are big enough to lie on. So definitely pick to the right side. Look at this incredible door design. That's so nice. Tell you what, if I can pull this off and hopefully don't have any nightmares about being chased by some ancient Lycian king or something, then this is gonna be awesome. Okay, it's about time for me to ride over to that restaurant, meet up with those people and have some dinner. Sounds cool. Wow. low-hanging power line. Wow, look at this tomb. This arch, it's also subsumed. That's incredible. See you later, Tloss. Well, that's a very dramatic view of Tloss over there. Oh, wow. What a view. Look at those incredible god rays. Mate, I'd stop and do a time lapse if I didn't have dinner to get to. How oh, nice. Mate, it makes a big difference to not be loaded up. It's so much easier to ride this bike. No wonder there's a waterfall park around here. So much water. Uh-oh. Dog. something about a meditation center so maybe that's where this is <coughs> namaste You know Luca? Is he here? Yes. Yes. Here. Yeah, he, he invited me to dinner. Okay, welcome. Thank you. What is your name? My name is Tim. What is your name? Tim. Ilgas. Ilgas. Yes. Ilgas. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Tim. These nice uh, dogs. I don't know what time is it, by the way, Tim. It's a, almost seven. It's like almost about oh. ten to seven. Oh, okay. He so said he said seven to be here, so. Yeah. So I think like seven fifteen, seven twenty, we should eat. Okay. Do very you know good. Iftar? Do you know? Oh the, yeah, iftar, iftar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ramadan. Yes. Yeah, Ramadan. Yes, of course. We've got to have Maghreb, then then eat. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, we will eat there. Okay. Very nice. So you can just put your bicycle, bicycle okay. over here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hell yeah, I didn't know this was Iftar. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're a very cute dog. 
You're a very adorable dog, oh my god. Oh no, oh no, just a tiny little dog. Tiny, tiny, oh, hello, hello. Oh, this is so tiny. And you do. Oh. oh, hello. No, oh, hello, hello, you little darling. Oh, hello. Oh, what a darling animal you are. You're just the most darling animal. Oh, my God. For those who don't know, iftar is the fast-breaking meal Muslims have at the end of a day of fasting for Ramadan. So, it's always nice. Look at that incredible sunset lighting. Look at the way it's lighting up the rain over there. It's like the whole sky is on fire. Gently or please will not break. Okay. I'll take take something if you need. Yeah, it will be nice. Your hand. It's okay. Thank you. Tahini. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah neither was I. <laughs> So the visual cortex, you said, gets yeah. stimulated? Yeah, so you get the visions. But I, what I was thinking is that the people, they were just living in, the, in these like tunnel systems. There's like some conspiracy theories like that, that right. during ice ages and stuff, people just went down in the tunnel systems. Well, that makes sense. It would have been warmer down there. Yeah. Sheltered. So, but the question is then, like, how you, like, it's like boring. Yeah, so yeah. the idea is that okay, they live in their visions. Yeah, right. So there's like, and then there's like, the idea was like my mind made up this idea that yeah, they had that a lot of mythology and stuff just came from there because they were just dreaming. Right. They were like in this really different kind of states of mind that they were living. I mean, they still have to eat, but much less, of course. Like, because right, the monks right. also that go in the caves, they don't eat much. Yeah, right, yeah. Have you heard about the young, um, where they sort of mummify themselves? By like, they like almost, it's a suicide sort of thing, where they slowly stop eating and then they, they, they like basically turn, get a diet of just like bark and like nuts and then they cut out that until basically they purify their entire body of, uh, anything that will decompose Whoa, so that, that yeah and like only like maybe four or five lots of people have tried it and they just died but then so like as a, there's a few like four or five monks that have succeeded and they're in these there's these like um I, I entire heard like monasteries built around them where they're like, just they're, 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 they're in just there sitting in like in the lotus position and they've got their robes on but they're like decomposed they're like they're it's like mummified yeah no not no, not decomposed they're mummified yeah This is wonderful. Bless these people.
going to have some Turkish coffee. Teşekkür ederim. strong little coffee shot. <laughs> you know, it's even better when you put a hint pekmez, but pekmez, pekmez, I saw it somewhere here. Other berries. Yeah, not from date, uh, or date, date pekmez, but also really nice. No, not from the grapes, but from something else. Anyway, and then you put milk. From bigger. Yeah. I, I saw it here somewhere. Carol, do you know? You, you ate the yeah. Turkish Nutella, you say? Yes. I think maybe I have Nutella. had it. Nutella. I yeah. think because I've had they they give them in little in little packs at hotels. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah probably that. Tahin pekmez, but there's way better quality for sure. Of course. Like the little bags. Yes. Of course. <laughs> the, the fresh. Yes. <laughs> oh. This will probably keep me up all night. I buy it in six weeks or one half. I, for the summer with my friends and we were drinking six, seven, eight coffee <laughs> <a day. laughs> Oh my god. And then after I was like, okay. <laughs> it's enough. I could get a heart attack or something. I, yeah. yeah, you get like this, not a heart attack, but like... Anxiety. Like, like... Palpitation. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. Like, <laughs> like, like half... A uh, half glass of sugar, maybe to the <laughs> one glass. You know, it's like very sugary. Their chai. Yeah, chai mom, mom, mom. Chai mom, All right, back on the road, heading back to my tomb camp at Tlos. Those were such nice people. That was a great, great dinner. Nice vegetarian dinner. Let's hope I can get back in the dark, okay? Nice and warm in here. That's nice. Seemed like one for the gaslight. Imagine somebody driving past and they just see one of these tombs lit up with firelight. They'll be thinking, what the hell? Who is in there? It's me, bro.
see you in the morning. Good morning. Welcome back to the Leash and Rock Cut Tomb. So I was reading up on Tlos while I was lying in my bed. And apparently this particular tomb is actually the tomb of Bellophon, an ancient Greek mythical hero. He's the guy who tamed Pegasus with the bridle of Athena and rode it to Mount Olympus. I didn't even know that when I got here. I was just attracted to its temple style. But check it out. There's a relief up here of Bellophon riding Pegasus. Freaks me out that I came here without even realizing that was the case. Here we are. Spent the night in the tomb of Bellophon. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna pack up and get out of here. Oh. <sighs> 